Hey y'all, what's good? What's poppin'? What's happening? How y'all doing? If you're new, my name is Joy. If you're 10, you already know what it is. Thank you for rocking with your girl. And your girl is moving. Your girl is moving again. <laughs> I'm laughing because I have seen like so many comments on a YouTube YouTuber's videos one time and they're like, why are YouTubers always moving? <laughs> so that's what just popped up in my head, but I did a series when I first moved to Florida and I feel like I kind of stopped updating you guys on living in Florida or how things were going or whatever, whatever. Blase, blase. So, here I was moving back home. Um, and I just wanted to make this like a detailed series because I don't think that I've given a lot of detail and a lot of information, especially for people that might want to move to a different state. Um, how the process is. I think a lot of people think that it's hard or that, um, yeah, I think a lot of people just think that it's hard. <laughs> so I am originally from the Bay Area. I'm from San Francisco, California, and I moved to Atlanta, Georgia in 2021. I moved back home for 10 months. Um, I lived in Atlanta for three months. I moved back home to California, and then I stayed in California for 10 months, and then I moved to Florida. Tampa, Florida, August 2022, and it'll be almost August 2024. So I've been here almost two years. So for this first part of this series, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about what I've done so far. Um, my best friend came to visit me a couple of weeks ago. So she took a lot of my winter clothes back. She took back like my shoes, my jeans, and my hoodies and sweaters and stuff like my winter clothing just because it's generally not cold here in florida so then the next step after that is um i bought my flight i bought a one-way ticket um i kind of just decided on when i would be leaving what would be a good day what the time frame was um and the cost of the flight as well and then also around when my lease would be up and stuff so I, um, now it's kind of like, I guess you would say crunch time or I'm definitely like counting down the days. I'm definitely on like um, a time frame in terms of leaving now because I do have my flight purchased. Um, the only things that I am kind of focusing or trying to figure out now is like where I'm gonna live um my job and my car so because i have moved out of state before i kind of do the same thing and uh, when i go about moving again i'm gonna do my best not to move out of state <laughs> again for a couple of years um and just i just need to plant myself somewhere and just stick it out for a little bit um but i'm grateful for my experience though absolutely grateful that I moved that I traveled it's still a shocker to me like every day that I live in Florida so for somebody that's moving out of state everybody's um list or how they would do this might be different but for me in terms of moving I like to one obviously know where I'm going and then two um have an idea of where I'm going to be living in terms of what city um what surrounding areas and then either like have a place like already set up in terms of like an apartment or an Airbnb or whether you're gonna get a roommate, things of that sort. So <clears throat> in terms of me going back home to California, I am gonna be staying with family. So me finding somewhere to live isn't like a huge thing for me right now. I definitely am still looking at places, but a place isn't like a huge major situation for me right now. Um, I will say that when I did move um, to Atlanta, I used um, roommates.com. My roommate was kind of sketchy. Um, neither here nor there. <laughs> and then the roommate that I have now, um, we met on roomies.com. So those are both the two roommate sites that I use I will leave them in the description bar please use those to your own discretion I did not influence you or tell you to use those sites okay <laughs> 
Um, so then for a job, when I moved to Atlanta, I applied to jobs before I got there. I applied to jobs at least for, I want to say a month before I got there. That way, when I did get there, I had interviews lined up. And the same for me moving to Florida. I applied to jobs before I moved here. That way, when I got here, I would have job interviews lined up. So in terms of me moving in terms of a job for me right now, um, the restaurant that I work at, I am able to transfer to California. Um, it won't be the same restaurant. It'll be a different restaurant. And I'm just going to put in a transfer and then start at the new location. Now, in terms of like my flight, um, your flight depends on like when you're trying to leave, you know, what time of the day you want to get there, who's going to pick you up, blah, blah, blah. And then, nor I've never transferred a job before at all of the, the two times that I have moved out of state, um, I just had to get a new job. And then when I moved back to California, I'm grateful that the doctors that I previously worked for um, allowed me to come back and work for them. Now with my car, I'm going to ship my car out um, a couple of days before I take my flight. That way, I can pack everything up that I know that everything is going to be in my car and I'm going to either sell or um, give away any items that I'm not taking with me that cannot fit in my car. So in terms of me flying, um, I do ship my car. I use Mercury Auto Transport. I have used them for each time that I have moved. I have never had any issues with them. Um, they are very um, adamant and their communication skills are really good. So absolutely love that. And yeah, just in terms of my car, I pack everything up in my car. And the only thing that's accessible is the driver's seat. <laughs> and then I just buy all new things when I get to the city and state that I'm going to be living in. So I'm going to, it's... I'm going to wait um, 30 days before it's time for me to leave to reach out to Mercury Auto Transport for them to ship my car. That way I can get a best accurate date, time frame, and price on me shipping my car. And just let them know that it needs to be picked up on this specific date. It doesn't matter what time they pick it up, but it needs to be picked up on this date because um, I won't be here. And I'm nobody else to give them the keys and the car and all that. So that is um, what I'm gonna be doing. So I already started giving away, like how I just told you guys, like getting rid of like some of my clothes and stuff. I do have a little time before I have to get rid of more things. So not on a huge, not in a huge rush, but I definitely know like, I definitely need to minimize and declutter. Um, over the next 30 days so that when the time comes I'm ready and I'm not like my suitcase isn't overweight and all these other things so yeah this is the beginning of my series oh my gosh I'm so excited I can't wait to go home can't wait to see my family and my friends ah, it's been such an amazing journey in Florida and I've learned and grown so much I have just I'm just grateful for the experience, grateful for the opportunity, grateful for the time that I've had here, the people that I've met and everything. So yeah, if y'all have any questions about moving, moving out of state, um, different things, feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. All the information that I've discussed in this video will definitely be in the description bar. So make sure you click below so you can read everything and that's it. And I will keep y'all updated on this moving journey. So, as always, you're beautiful just as you are. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.